Hi uh, guys, today in this video, I'm going to talk about some most popular research databases. I have made this presentation about top 7 academic research databases and also I have provided a list of these academic resources. Alright, let me change the icon to make it more clear for you. Okay, so for what purpose we can use and take benefits from these academic resources? Whenever you are writing a thesis, dissertation or research paper, the primary job is to survey previous literature and research findings. Especially you will be looking for some trusted resources, most likely peer-reviewed research findings. Academic research databases make it easy to look at the literature you are looking for. So alright, we, here we have a compiled list of top 7 academic databases. Number 1 is Scopus. Scopus is the largest and commercial database of scientific journals, books and conference proceedings. Besides searching for research articles, Scopus also provides academic journal rankings, author profiles, and it provides additional tool known as H-Index Calculator. Scopus provides comprehensive coverage to about 71 million research items. And it stores about 4.1 billion references or citations. Scopus is multidisciplinary. It covers almost every subject from life sciences, social sciences, arts, amenities to engineering and computer sciences, etc. You need your institutional email address to log in and access to full articles. Or in other words, only institution can subscribe to this database. Scopus is managed by Elsevier. Second is Web of Science. Web of Science is also known as Web of Knowledge. It is the second big bibliographic database. Like Scopus, it is also multidisciplinary and it covers about 100 million research items. Web of Science stores 1.4 billion references and to access this database institution or organization can subscribe to Web of Science. The provider is Clarivate or Thomson Reuters. Third is PubMed. PubMed is the number one resource for anyone looking for literature and medicine or biological sciences. It provides full text links to the publisher sites or links to the free or PDF. It covers about 30 million research items and it only covers medicine and biological sciences. So you can search articles in the domain of medicine and biological sciences only. Permit doesn't provide references and permit is free of charge you don't need to subscribe from any organization or institute the provider is NIH fourth one is ERIC ERIC is the number one destination ERIC stands for Education Resources Information Center ERIC is a database that specifically hosts education-related literature. It doesn't provide references and it covers over 13 million research items. It only covers education science and ERIC is also available freely. The provider is U.S. Department of Education. The fifth is eExplore. E is the leading academic database in the field of engineering and computer science. It provides journal articles, conference papers, and books. It covers approximately 5 million research items. Also, it doesn't provide references. E Explorer is also available for free. Provider is Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Science Direct. Science Direct is the gateway to millions of academic articles, 
published by Elsevier. About 2,500 journals and more than 40,000 electronic books can be searched via a single interface. ScienceDirect covers about 16 million research items. It doesn't provide references. And like Web of Science and Scopus, ScienceDirect is also multidisciplinary. You can use ScienceDirect as a searching database for any subject. And on the other hand, it is available for free. The provider is Elsevier. The last one is Dodge, Directory of Open Access Journals. Dodge is a very special academic database since all the article index are open access and can be downloaded freely of charge. It costs about 4.3 million research items. It doesn't provide any reference. And like Web of Science, Science Direct, and Scopus, it is also multidisciplinary. It is available for free and the provider is Directory of Open Access Journals. I hope this short presentation of research database is helpful for you. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to receive notification of new videos. See you next time. Take care.